Hello and thank you for joining us for our new Berta Style video. Today we are presenting model 113 from our Berta Style December 2021 magazine. This model is a nice dress that combines femininity and elegance. The cut features a v-neckline emphasized by a tuck and a pleated band that creates a curvy waistline at the front and back. The back is symmetrical and the narrow sleeves are long. We decided to make this dress in a high quality poplin fabric. The outer fabric is a gray and dark blue and the lining is a gray and light blue for a look that is simple yet elegant. We sourced the fabrics from our partner C. Polly, the specialist for God's certified organic fabrics. I'm using the Sewing Machine Excellence 580 Plus from Alma for sewing and the Alma Extend 864 Air Overlock Machine for knitting. In addition to the usual sewing supplies in your fabric, you will need interfacing an invisible zip fastener and shoulder pads whose references and dimensions are listed in your magazine. I've already cut out pattern pieces 21 to 33, transferred the required notches and markings, and ironed interfacing onto pieces 30 and 31 according to the instructions in the magazine. I start with the darts and the front tuck. I fold the darts, stitch them, and press them downward. I trim the allowances of the lower folded corner, fold the tuck in the direction of the arrow, and pin it into place. I place the edges of the left shoulder right sides together, and pin and stitch the allowances, extending the seam to the tuck. I secure the seam ends. Next, I fold the shoulder tuck in the direction of the arrow, and pin in place. Second step, the front and back pleated band. I've already pressed the fold lines of all the pleated pieces. You can fold and baste in place if you would like. I pin the pleats and stitch them to the allowances with long stitches. I place the wrong side of the front band on the right side of the lining band and pin the upper and lower edges. I slightly pull the edges of the pleated band to sew the pieces together. I pin the band to the front piece and skirt right sides together. Then I stitch them. Next, I press the allowances towards the band. I match the fold lines to the joining lines on the front piece and skirt and pin them. I repeat the same steps of the band on the back pieces before stitching them to the skirt and back. Now I continue with the shoulders and sides. I stitch the shoulders along seam six, back stitch to secure the seam ends and press the seams apart. I stitch the side seams, making sure that the pleated bands match at the right side. Then I press the seam apart. The next step, inserting the zip fastener. I open the zip and place its top side on the right side of the fabric. I stitch one side of the tape to the dress using long stitches. You can also baste the tape on, which will hold the tape in the proper position when you use the zipper foot for hidden zip fasteners. I place the zipper foot onto the zipper so that the spiral is in the groove, then slightly open the spiral with my finger and stitch to the marked slit end. Now I repeat the same steps on the other side. I close the zip fastener and stitch the center back seam starting from the bottom. I stop stitching as close as I can to the last stitch of the zip fastener seam. While stitching I make sure that the lower edge of the zip points towards the allowance to ensure that it is not stitched shut. I press the seam apart. We continue with the lining and facings. I stitch the darts on the lining pieces and press the bust darts downwards and the waist darts to the center. I need in the lower corners of the facings. I place the facings on the wrong side of the front and back lining pieces and pin them in place. Feel free to baste here too. I stitch the lining pieces along the lower facing edge. I stitch the shoulder seams along seam 7 and press the seams apart. I stitch the side seams and the center back seam up to the slit marking. I press the allowances apart. Step 6. Lining the dress. I pull the lining with facing over the dress, right sides together, and pin the neckline allowances. The shoulder seams must match. Now I fold the allowances of the facing 0.5 cm or 1 4th of an inch to the inside at the zip. I stitch the seam and clip the allowances at the corner of the front neckline until just before the seam. Now I press the seam to the facing and top stitch as close to the edge as possible. I turn the facing with the lining to the inside of the dress, 
Fold the allowance of the center back of the lining and the facing to the inside and sew them to the zip tape by hand. I pin the lining armhole to the armhole of the dress and stitch them together with a long stitch. Second to last step, the sleeves. I stitch the darts and press them downwards. Then I press the allowance at the lower sleeve edge to the wrong side. I neaten the allowances of the sleeve seam and place the sleeves together. I press the seam apart and pin the sleeve to the armhole, matching seams 10. The shoulder seam meets the notch for the sleeve head and the side seam meets the sleeve seam. As I stitch, I ease the sleeve head. Then I trim 5 millimeters or 1 fourth of an inch from the allowance and neaten them together. Next, I press the armhole. And now for the final touch, I sew on the shoulder pads by hand. I need to the lower edge of the dress and press the hem allowance to the inside. I stitch the hem of the dress on the lower sleeve edge. You can also use an overlock stitch if you'd like to. I sew a hem on the lower lining edge that should be around two centimeters or three fourths of an inch shorter than the dress. Our elegant and feminine dress is now finished. This piece could be worn at parties or during the day, depending on the fabric you choose. To keep up with what is going on in social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our Facebook group. We will return soon with a new video to accompany your sewing projects. Florida Style would like to thank and recommend its partners Elma and C. Polly. Thank you for following us, and see you soon with a new Florida Style tutorial.